Here's how I play that version, my arrangement of the Beatles come together. So I'm working around a fifth fret D minor chord. So it looks like your A minor that you would play down here. But I switch the fingers around so that I've got my pointer free to do the bar. So I'm barring the fifth fret from the fifth string to the first. I'm not barring the sixth. Then my middle finger is on the second string, sixth fret. My ring finger is on the fourth string, seventh fret. And my pinky is on the third string, seventh fret. And that's my D minor. So the bass part are those Ds. Then the piano. So I'm on the fifth string, fifth fret for the bass note. Hit it twice with my thumb from the right hand. And now I'm going to hammer on from the fourth string, fifth fret, which I'm holding with the bar, with my ring finger at the seventh fret. And then I'm going to play the second string and the third string my middle finger and my pointer. And that's where I put the pinky back on in the left hand at the third string, seventh fret. Now that slide isn't there, but that's part of the, uh, uh, the percussion. You hear the sh I don't know if it's a reverse symbol or if it's somebody just going shh like that. So we're going to mimic it with that slide. And that's the intro part. Now the melody is based around a D minor, D minor seventh. So I'm borrowing the first string, first and second string at the first fret. And the bass is a constant D. Eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. And for our purposes right now, simplifying the melody. So I'm playing the first string at the first fret, second string at the third fret, and the second string at the first fret, which I'm holding with the bar. So I've tabbed this all out, and the tab is available. Now that's playing it all with the bass note, and it's a good way to start if you're not familiar with this type of thing. But he sings in between, he sings the 16th notes. So there's a way, you know, how do we go about this? Well, the first one was playing with the bass. And then you might want to practice playing against it. And then one against it and one with, so you get this. A seventh chord. So the A seventh, I've got the second string, second fret, and the fourth string, second fret. Bass has moved to the fifth string. Oh, adding a melody note with the pinky. Now you can finger this differently, by the way. Some of us try to avoid the pinky. I have my arthritic pinky that faces the wrong way. Sometimes it gives me some trouble. And then a G seventh chord. So I've got the G. I actually don't need the middle finger at the fifth string, second fret, but that is part of your G seventh chord. 
and the first string, first fret. Now all we have is John Lennon singing and everything stops. I kind of added the chord in there and a little bit of a crescendo so it doesn't just sit there. So it starts quietly. I should say I hit it hard and then I get quiet and get loud again. And then he does that four times. Now the second verse, there's a harmony vocal. So now I'm going to hit the first two strings at the first fret, and then I fill out my D minor chord by playing the third string, third string, second fret, and the second string, third fret. And that harmony note there is the third string open with the first, second string first fret. And you can follow that through on the tab. And then there's the chorus. There's my B minor seventh. We played the D minor seventh up here. C sharp, C minor seventh, they're all sevenths of course, and B minor seventh. The melody's on the second string, third fret. Then you put down your B minor seventh chord and add this A. Well, the A actually is the seventh for the B minor seventh. So is this A that we're holding um, with the bar. Now, this time I'm not playing just the bass note. The guitar was playing the power chord. So I'm covering the fifth string, second fret, and the fourth string, fourth fret. So it's still the F sharp note, but it's an A power chord. And I just kept my D chord, part of that B minor seventh. And then the, D, the G power chord, I'm making sure the fifth string is dead. And the melody notes, first string open. And then I go to the second string, third fret. A power chord, fifth string open, fourth string, second fret. And then the melody. Now, the reason why I play it here with the pinky, instead of open B, well, because I need to be up here for that signature lick. And that's how I do it. Okay, have fun.